to teach you how to copyright your designs in Photoshop. So let's say I want to take this design and I want to copyright it using metadata. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this design in Photoshop and because I'm a surface pattern designer, I'm going to click edit define pattern, click OK. And then I'm going to come over to this template that I've made for IG stories. So this can be used on Instagram or on something like Pinterest where the vertical orientation um, gives you a lot of real estate on the site. I also always like to put copyright and my business name along with my logo when I am uploading to Pinterest, but you don't have to do that. And let's go ahead and put the new pattern on. So I'm gonna click on, oh, sorry, let me show you what I did. So this is my background and I'm clicking on pattern overlay. If you don't know how to do that, you can click on the FX at the bottom and click over on pattern overlay. Because I already have these effects, I can just double click it. So we are on pattern overlay here. I'm gonna click on the arrow and then here is the pattern that I just defined, okay? And so I can play with the scale too. I can make it larger or smaller. Um, I think this is quite cute. And so I'm gonna click okay. From there, I'm going to come over to File, File Info. And what you wanna do is click over on Basic. Make sure you are on the Basic tab and you want to put your name or the name of your business here under Author. I also like to put my author title, Surface Pattern Designer. And you want to click down here on Copyright Notice and on Copyright Status. Make sure you are clicked to copyrighted. If this is something that anyone can use, you could click public domain, um, but assuming you want this artwork to be copyrighted, you want to click on copyrighted. From there, this is going to probably be blank in your, um, when you first bring it up, and you can click on option G if you're on a Mac to get the little copyright symbol, and then type your name. I like to do the name of my business and then kind of a description of what I do, surface pattern designer. From there, you can also put the name of your business in the URL. So this is going to be your website or whatever you want people to be able to um, use to find your artwork in case they wanted to purchase it or work with you for licensing or something like that. So from there, we wanna come over to IPTC and we're gonna fill out some of that same information. So you wanna put your name or your business name. I put Lauren Leslie Studio. You want to put your creator's job title. I put Surface Pattern Designer. I went ahead and put my country, United States. You can put your email, but you can also leave that blank. And again, you wanna put your website here. So I went ahead and put my website with the um, slash pattern because this takes people directly to my portfolio. So here we see the copyright notice again. So from there, you want to come over to your template folder. So you click on this arrow here and you click export. From there, you can put your business name and I like to put copyright so that I know exactly what it is. I already have this um, set up, so I'm not going to save it, but you would wanna click save, okay? And then click OK and you're done. I'm gonna click cancel because I already have this set up. Okay, so now going back into our Photoshop file, say you've opened a new file and you want to use your file info and you want to add the metadata in your copyright. So what you wanna do is just come back down to your template folder and click on the saved copyright. Click OK, click OK, and now you'll notice that there's a little copyright symbol in your file name. So that shows up automatically when you have added the metadata to copyright your artwork. Okay, so now let's say we want to export a JPEG. We can come down to File, Export, Export As. Okay, from there on metadata, you wanna come down to Copyright and Contact Info and make sure this is clicked. Okay, and so then you can, you know, play with the quality, whatever you want to do. Anything else doesn't matter, but the metadata you wanna make sure has your copyright and contact info, and you wanna click export. 
I'm gonna come back to my file and copy the file name and paste it in here. I don't know why it doesn't do that automatically anymore. Really annoying. And then I'm gonna come over to my same folder where I have this design and I like to just add IG story so that I know exactly what it's for and you can click on save. We can also save our PSD file by coming to file save as and come to that same folder and save the PSD file. Okay, so now we can test our JPEG by opening up in preview. Come to tools and show inspector. Okay, so this little box comes up with more info. It might show general at first, but if you click on IPTC, you can see that my name, the job title, my copyright notice, and my contact info is all there in the metadata. So that is pretty awesome and really protects you when adding surface pattern designs or textile designs or really any kind of artwork online. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped a lot. Make sure to subscribe and like this video for more. Thanks so much. See you in the next video guys. Bye bye.